Miss Delight? Uh, are you down here? How do I turn this thing on? I can't see anything. There's no way I'm gonna find Miss Delight in total darkness. Ah! Well, there you are. If it isn't my favorite student, Piggy Piggy. Or, well, at least my most delicious. Uh, Miss Delight? Oh, what are you doing? Uh, wait, no! Get back here, Piggy Piggy! I only want to teach you a lesson! You know the rules, no running in the halls! Then tell that to yourself! You're the one chasing me! What is she doing? Why is she just standing there? <gasps> she can't move! She's frozen as long as she stays under the light! Uh-oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh, come on! Seriously? You've got to be kidding me! Okay now, simmer down. Let's not get too heated too quickly. Too heated? Miss Delight, you are literally cooking me alive! Oh well, I guess I am! <laughs> Please, Miss Delight, just talk to me, okay? What happened to you? You weren't always like this. You used to be nice. Used to be? I'm still nice, Picky Piggy. I just also happen to be hungry. Now, you really want to know what happened to me? Well, I'll tell you everything then. When I first started working at Playcare, I loved it. No running in the hallways, please! I'd always wanted a chance to work with orphans. But admittedly, my favorite part of the job had nothing to do with the kids at all. And everything to do with the smiling critters. Hey, look, guys! It's Miss Delight! Did you know there's 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the equator is only 25,000! Whoa, cool! Teaching the smiling critters was magical. They were attentive, respectful, and always willing to lend me a hand when I needed it most. Oh, wait, Picky? Would you mind hanging back and helping me with something? Yes. I have to admit it, Piggy Piggy, you were my absolute favorite of the smiling critters. Such a sweetheart, always sitting at the front of the class, always giving me these thoughtful gifts. There, just how I like them. Razor sharp. Great work, Piggy. Are you sure you don't need anything else from me, Miss Delight? I'd be happy to stay. Oh, I'm sure, Piggy. I've held you here long enough already. Why don't you go run along now? It's almost curfew after all. Miss Delight, I, I wanted to give you this. It's just like the one on your shirt. I, I wasn't even sure if you actually liked apples, but I, I just figured... Oh, it's perfect, Picky. I love it. This might just be the most beautiful apple I've ever seen. Yes, life at Playcare was amazing. But what I was about to learn was that there was a whole lot more going on at Playcare than I could have ever imagined. No! Wait! Let go of me! Let go! Hey! Hold on a second! That's my student! What do you think you're doing? Ah, good evening, Miss Delight. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, help me with? Oh, no! I, I was just... Uh... You do know curfew applies to teachers as well as students, don't you? But sir, one of my students, they were pulled out of bed, and they were led into that room! Look, Miss Delight, I know you mean well, but I think it's best we both went to bed now. I don't know what it was, but something about the doctor's words just didn't sit right with me. What were they hiding back there? And why didn't I feel like my student wasn't safe? I couldn't go to bed without finding some answers. I creep down the medical wing, quiet as a mouse. 
They had a boy strapped to a bed. It looked like they were experimenting on him. All right, looks like we're ready to go. You know what to do. And then, they released the gas. Please, wait! I was terrified. And in my terror, I made a grave mistake. Get her! I ran for my life! Just 20 minutes ago, these men were my co-workers. Now they were trying to kill me? So I hid, and somehow, it worked. Or so I thought. I was delirious for most of the next part. I could just barely make out what the doctors were saying. What do we do, sir? Should we kill her? No, don't be absurd. We can't kill her. My school still needs a teacher, after all. But maybe one a little more... subservient. No, no, wait! Please! Ah! They mutated me! Turned me into a monster! But I still had classes to teach the next day. Uh, Miss Delight? Miss Delight? Yes? What's wrong with your face? My face? There's nothing wrong with my face. Is there? <laughs> oh, come now, Picky. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's all just simple anatomy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Miss Delight? I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel bad about your face. Here, I brought you another apple. Oh, no thank you, dear. That's very sweet, but I'm not feeling hungry right now. Not for that, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, Miss Delight needs our help. Just let it go, Biggie! There's something seriously wrong with that lady! Yeah, there is. And doesn't that mean we should do something about it? Look, Peggy, if you're really worried, we can go talk to someone in the medical wing tomorrow. But for right now, it's 9 p.m. Me. What a sweet student you are! Ah, yes, very sweet indeed. And savory. Oh, come on! I can't believe you would do this to me! I was your favorite student! You, you said it yourself! Now you're gonna kill me! Kill you? Oh, please! I'm not gonna kill you! I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> like we're doing. We're saving you. Now come on, let's get out of here or else Miss Light's gonna turn us into a three-course meal. Ooh, get back here. Oh gosh, what do we do? She's gaining on us. Get back here, you three. Class isn't dismissed yet. Uh, no, a dead end. Now what do we do? Think, guys, think. What is she doing? Why is she just standing there? She can't move. She's frozen as long as she stays under the light. That's it. We gotta turn on the lights. Quick, guys. Help me pull this. It's our only chance. I guess that lever didn't turn on the light after all. Sorry, Miss Delight. 